Imagine you're surrounded by hatred all around your country because of your religion. But the dictator that made the people hate your religion is personally trying to keep you safe and away from the war. Welcome to Spotlight, and this is the doctor that made Hitler send private police to guard him. And even when the times were rough, Hitler himself tried to arrange a flight for him to use. We'll be discussing the unlikely relationship between Adolf Hitler and Eduard Bloch. So by now, you must be wondering, who is Bloch? Well, to learn about him, we going back to when Hitler's mother, Clara, was ill and the doctor Bloch accepted to treat Clara in his own and not ask for financial pay from her family. Back then, Hitler's best friend was his mom, Clara, and he loved and cared about her the most. Rumors have it that when Hitler's mom died, he went out on the streets at night and even talked to trees and spent a lot of his time around graves. Since Bloch was a Jewish doctor who treated Hitler's mother, Clara, and this connection raises some interesting questions about how personal relationships can impact political ideology. We're going to split five parts, and first we are going to talk about Edward Bloch and his background. In 1907, Bloch had moved to the town of Linz, where he established a successful medical practice and became known as a respected member of the community. It was during this time that he first met a young Adolf Hitler who was living in Linz at the time. Hitler was suffering from a variety of health problems, and he became one of Bloch's patients. Despite the fact that Bloch was Jewish, he treated Hitler without prejudice and even helped him to obtain free medication from the local hospital. Hitler later referred to Bloch as his benefactor and his savior in his autobiography, Men Kampfrott. 2. Hitler's relationship with Bloch before he rose to power. According to Bloch, Hitler was a polite and respectful patient during his mother's treatment. Bloch did treat Clara Hitler for breast cancer in 1900 when she was living in the town of Erfahar near Linz. After Clara's death, Hitler sent Bloch a gift of linens as a token of appreciation. However, as Hitler's political career began to take off, his relationship with Bloch began to change. From some reports, Adolf Hitler was grateful to Bloch for his treatment of his mother and he may have felt a sense of loyalty or indebtedness to the physician as a result. This may have contributed to Hitler's decision to protect Bloch when he came to power in 1933. Part 3. The Impact of Hitler's Rise to Power on Bloch's Life When Hitler became the Chancellor of Germany in 1933, the anti-Semitic policies put in place by the Nazi regime began to impact the lives of Jewish people across Europe. Bloch's medical license was revoked, and he and his family were forced to flee Austria for the United States. Despite this, Hitler still held a strange admiration for Bloch. It is also possible that some officials within the Nazi regime may have assisted Bloch in his efforts to immigrate to the United States. Part 4. Hitler's Continued Admiration for Bloch According to some reports, Hitler had ordered his personal physician to ensure that Bloch and his family were safe during their escape to the United States. In addition, Hitler reportedly expressed regret over the persecution of Bloch, stating that I should have awarded him a medal. Part 5. The Wider Implications of Hitler's Relationship with Bloch Hitler's relationship with Bloch raises some important questions about the intersection between personal relationships and political ideology. How can someone hold such hateful beliefs about an entire group of people, while at the same time admiring an individual from that group? It's also worth noting that Hitler's admiration for Bloch did nothing to change the fate of millions of Jewish people who were persecuted and killed during the Holocaust. In conclusion, the relationship between Adolf Hitler and Eduard Bloch is a complex and troubling piece of history. It's interesting to note how personal connections can sometimes transcend political ideology. But it's important to remember that this is the exception rather than the rule. Thank you for watching my first video. I will try to upload more content.
And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel.